Christy. This is my extra credit project for Neuro OT441 with Professor Stein. Uh, something you should know about me is that I'm not musical, I don't write songs, and I'm not a poet. But I do want extra credit, so I'll give it a try. I composed two songs about the different tracks that we learned about, and they are both set to children's tunes, so hopefully they will be familiar to you. This first one is about the DCML tract, and to orient you, let me show you that this is a finger, this is the dull end of a safety pin, and this says touch. So we'll be discussing the touch of the dull end of a safety pin on the finger and the magical journey that it takes, sending the information all the way up to the postcentral gyrus. So let's get started with the DCML tract, which is set to the tune of none other than the Itsy Bitsy Spider. All right. The DCML tract can be confusing. The UEs are lateral fasciculus cuneatus. The LEs are more medial fasciculus gracilis. And the medial lemniscus is a tract of white matter. First order neuron goes in the dorsal root. Ipsa laterally projects up the dorsal column. Then it terminates in the medulla where it lands in the nucleus matching the dorsal column. Second order neuron starts in the medulla. Decasatan ascends via the medial lemniscus up through the cerebrum into the thalamus where the VPL of the thalamus serves as its last stop. Third order neuron starts in the VPL through the internal capsule, which is just white matter. Then out it comes and synapses on the brain, on the postcentral gyrus of the parietal lobe. Primary somatosensory cortex, that is where this info finally ends up, responding to touch vibes and proprioception. The mechanoreceptors got the job done. DCML.